Hello everybody, let's get straight to it. In this video, I will walk you through a business scenario that requires separation of sales order lines based on mode of delivery when it comes down to how these lines are processed and released to a warehouse using advanced WMS functionality available in Dynamics 365 for finance and operation. There may be multiple reasons why you want to make that separation. The first reason comes down to timing. Sales order lines that are marked as custom pickups may need to be released to warehouse as soon as possible and sales order picking work may need to be created as soon as possible as well. Sales order lines that are marked as deliveries may need to wait for consolidation instead. So they may need to be accumulated into one wave and then released at the warehouse at the same time, generating picking work from multiple orders at once, hence optimizing how these orders are picked. For that purpose, I have created two different wave templates in Dynamics 365. The customer pickup wave template has an option to process wave at the release to warehouse. What that means is as soon as that wave is created, it will be processed. And when it is processed, the warehouse work for sales or picking will be generated. Hence, there will be no delay between the time the sales order line is released to warehouse and sales order picking work is generated. The second template I have created is for the shipping sales order lines. And this template has the option to process wave automatically at the threshold. So instead of doing it automatically as soon as possible, it will instead wait for, in this case, up to three shipments to be added to the wave template. And as soon as the third shipment is added, the wave will be processed and will generate picking work for all three orders. The second part of our solution here is how do we differentiate different lines based on mode of delivery? So the most natural solution here is to use the mode of delivery on sales order line. So I have a sales order generated here for the uh, first line is 0001. And if we look at the delivery tab right here, I will change it to delivery, which is mode of delivery number 10. And for my second sales order line, I'll change it to a customer pickup. All right, so now I have two sales order lines with two different mode of deliveries. Now I need to test how many shipments will generate it when released to warehouse. I will navigate to warehouse tab and click on release to warehouse. The system will tell me that only one shipment got generated. Even though I had two lines with two different modes of delivery, I had only one shipment. All right, so let's take a look at that shipment. I will click on warehouse here and go to shipment details. And I see that the shipment number 152 got generated. But the problem that I see here is that it does not have any mode of delivery populated. Even though I had two lines with two different modes of delivery set up, the shipment that got generated doesn't have any and I need that shipment to have something that will help me differ to differentiate that shipment either as a pickup shipment or a delivery shipment. All right, so I'm gonna delete that shipment so I will be able to release the same sales order to warehouse again. And now I need to create different modes of delivery using advanced warehouse or TMS functionality. For that, I will navigate to a form called shipping carriers. And in here, you can see I have created four different carriers and each of those carriers has a service here. So for example, my parcel carrier has a carrier service parcel as well. So combination of the shipping carrier and the carrier service, service will automatically create a new mode of delivery. This mode of delivery is different from the one that I create manually under sales in marketing module. This mode of delivery is linked to a shipping carrier and the carrier service, and that will be very important. All right, now let's go back to my sales order, and I will change my first sales order line from mode of delivery 10, which is parcel delivery, to this automatically generated mode of delivery. And as soon as I do that, you may notice that the shipping carrier and the carrier service fields that are grayed out for editing are automatically populated because this mode of delivery is actually linked to the carrier and the service combination. And then I will go to my second sales order line. And you see right now with mode of delivery pickup, 
both of those are blank. And as soon as I change it to a customer pickup mode of delivery here, my shipping carry and carry service got populated again. All right, so now with that change, I will click to release to warehouse again. All right, so I have one shipment generated again. Let's take a look at that shipment. I see the shipment 153 now doesn't have any mode of delivery, but now it has a shipping carrier and carrier service. And what I see here is the shipping carrier is actually parcel. Okay, why parcel? Because we have two sales order lines. One was for parcel, one was for pickup, but it only picked up the mode of delivery from the first sales order line. That's why my shipment is parcel. And that's actually, it picked it up from this line right here, the first one. All right, so, that's kind of a, a start, but it, we're not quite there yet. Why? Because we have two sales order lines added to the same shipment, and that shipment just grabs the carrier service from this first sales order line. So how many waves have we got generated? If I ref refresh here, I see that I have only one wave generated, 135, and it is actually uh, using a template for the shipping default. All right, so why shipping default is I have to review how my templates are generated here. So I will click on the wave template and I will see that my shipping default template has a query set up. And that query basically says that this wave template will only process shipments that have shipping carrier, either parcel or truck. And because we had that shipment with a parcel carrier, Hence, this template was used. My customer pickup wave template query actually says that it will only include and process shipments that have a shipping carrier set to pick up. But because I had only one shipment and that shipment got the carrier from the first sales or line, this template was not used and only the shipping default template was used. So that's not exactly what I want because I wanted to separate these two sales order lines and process them differently, one with a pickup wave and another one with a delivery wave. So now I'll have to go and reset the scene here. I will delete that wave that was automatically generated and I will go and delete that shipment that got automatically generated also. The second part of our solution here is how do we make a system to generate multiple shipments for the entire order based on the mode of delivery? And the answer to that is to use periodic release to warehouse job instead of releasing to warehouse from the sales order form. That periodic job is located under warehouse management, release to warehouse, automatic release of sales orders. And in here, I will make sure that our allow release of partially release orders is set to yes because my intention here is to release one sales orders one sales order in two batches one pickup and another one deliveries and the second part is I have to make sure that my filter is set to release only on a specific mode of delivery so in this case this release will only process sales order lines that have either parcel mode of delivery or truck mode of delivery. So let's do that. I'm going to click OK and click OK again. And while I'm here, I will also execute the release to warehouse, but now only for the pickup mode of delivery. I'm going to click on filter. And in here, I will change mode of deliver on the sales order line to be pickup. All right, so I executed the release to warehouse job twice. And now I need to check how many shipments I have generated for my sales order. Let's go back to that sales order. And I will select my first sales order line for the item 001 that had a mode of delivery parcel. So that was our delivery one. I will click on warehouse shipment details. I can see that I have one shipment numbered 154 and it has a shipping carrier of parcel. So that's great. So 154. And then I would select my second sales order line and check a shipment for that as well. I see that I have a, a new 
our separate shipment generate 155 now and that shipment has a carrier set as pickup so now i accomplish my first objective i have two shipments generated for two different mode of delivery the, the second question that i need to answer here is have i used two different wave templates based on the mode of delivery so i'm going to go back to the list of, of of all waves i'm going to refresh that list and what i see here is i have this wave template which is 146 and i see that this wave was generated using the shipping default template and we already know why because this template is only picking up my parcels and track mode of delivery and because that wave template was set up to be processed at the threshold of three shipments you can see that the status of that wave is not released but rather creating so that wave is still waiting for two more shipments to be added to it before it will be auto processed and that and and then the warehouse work for picking will be generated but we can check that wave template by clicking on the number and we can see that this wave template has only one shipment which is 154 for our parcel shipment and we also have a new wave 137 this wave was created using a customer pickup wave template and because this template is configured to be processed at the release to warehouse automatically we can see the status of that wave is actually released what that means we already have sales order warehouse work generated for that wave and we can easily check it by clicking on wave here and clicking on related information work we already see that there is a sale there is a warehouse work for picking generated just for that wave and the second sales order line is actually waiting for two more additional shipments so in, to summarize our setups here is that we have generated three modes of delivery using shipping carrier form. We then used two of those modes of deliveries and we added those two different sales order lines on our sales order. Then we processed sales order lines for picking and sales order lines for deliveries separately using re automatic release of sales order to warehouse job that generated two shipments for us and these two shipments had two different shipping carriers on it and then we used the wave template filter to separate and process these two separate shipments into two separate waves and why one wave was automatically released to warehouse which was the custom pickups and another wave is still waiting for uh, additional orders to be added to it before it can be processed and the uh, warehouse work will be generated. That is all for this demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time. <laughs>